already. Uh, let me make sure the volume is completely off. Let me make sure the uh, phone's going. And laptop's going. Okay. Everything's going. So last time, when we played yesterday, we beat the game. The game has been beaten. However, there's still a few achievements. If we take a look, there's four right here. There are hidden items in book two, two in chapter three, one in chapter seven, and one in chapter nine. I asked chat, what do you think? Should we go after these four achievements? And the one person that was in chat agreed. Let's go after these four achievements and just get it done. We're not playing the full game. We are just playing until we get these achievements. Basically, basically, for the lack of a better term, we're doing uh, we're doing cleanup. I can never find a good spot. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new playthrough of book two, and we're just gonna get achievements done. This might only take a stream or two. So, uh, technically I could beat this again and do chapter 9, but for now, we need a new game. We start over, it doesn't really matter which one actually. We want book 2 specifically. Yes, we'll erase file 3. Because I played it just now, we can skip through cutscenes and stuff like that. Well, skip is a strong term. But since we're not worried about co getting recruiting every unit or, or something, we are just focused on just getting to the chapters we need to. Well, I don't know if I should, like, reset if people die. I may not stress over it. We may also put a lot of focus on training just a few units. Come on. Speaking through the text as much as possible. Okay. Come on. This rebellion is back, blah, blah, blah. Man, this is a. Uh... Uh, granted, it is the first scene. It is the first scene. Come on. I can't skip it. This is the best I could do. Okay, there we go. Finally. So, hold on. Let me check the figure. Animation. We're going to turn to off so we can speed this up. Message, put it on fast. I don't know what this other stuff means, but we'll just leave it be. Okay. Oh, is that cursor? Hold on. Yeah, that was cursor. Okay, I fixed that. Alright. So, we're gonna try to speed this up. I, I still want Mark to go up here so we can get Melissa. I think that will be a good idea. Can we get, like, Ryan? Yeah, we could get Ryan to weaken. Since we're only going to, you know, chapter, uh... Since we're really only going to, like, chapter 9, we're not going to stress about training as many people as possible. So, what we're gonna do is, we'll probably end up actually using Ryan. Or is it Aaron? I think his name is Aaron. 
Yeah, Aaron. We may actually just end up using him. I just never used him because I didn't want him to get any kills. Okay. Let's make sure. You just have. Oh, right. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna have you dismount. Alright. Granted, we do want good units. So... But we may have Marth be the one to get a lot of training in. The sad part about you know, having no animations in this game is you can't see the EXP bar go on. Can we get the... Yeah, I think we can. There we go. We can let Mark have that one. Yeah, I just can't. I don't get to see what the stats... what the stat boosts are. Alright. Uh, Marth's gonna head up here. I'll probably have Rhodey. Actually, no. I think I'll let... I think I'll let Gordon stand here and get rid of Thieves. Can this one move? Yeah, he could have moved. I think I'm gonna go let Rhodey have, head this way. Probably just gonna have one person, probably Mark, take care of like all of that up there. Actually, you know what? I probably won't use you. So, actually, I forget what's in the shop. So we'll just go here. And again, we can use Aaron like probably this entire time. We'll probably only focus on a few units. Whatever can get us to chapter three, the fat, uh, three, seven, and nine, the fastest, you know what I mean? Okay. Hell, we can't even buy a new heal staff for a while. Come on. Okay. What was in here? Iron sword, iron lance, javelin. Okay, I want an Iron Sword for Marth. Uh, maybe an Iron Lance for someone. Honestly, I don't think I'll use my Archers that much. Well, actually, you know what? I'll buy another bow. Because when we deal with flying units, we're going to want them. At this point, we'll probably just use Gordon because he's a higher level. Because of that. If we attack with the iron, 15, no, 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 If we attack with the steel, 16, no, no, no. We'll do that. We'll, I guess we'll let Gordon have those KOs. Uh, I'll 
let... I'll just go ahead and let Rodi fight this. Mistakes were probably made. Oh right, the hand axe. We'll go down here. Right, I would have to dismount to get up there. I'll worry about it later. I'll just let Marth handle it. Okay, Rody, can you grab this? What's your attack speed? Zero? Ah. Uh. Couple of good units. Right now it's Marth, Gor uh, Gordon. Sorry, a level five, so we may use him for archer stuff. We'll prioritize Marth. get more attack speed. There we go. Okay, Gordon, go ahead and start attacking. Never mind. Marth, go ahead and do your thing. Yeah, same attack power, less crit, one less attack speed, but we can save the rapier. Okay, next turn. Actually, if I'm not even going to use Luke, then we may just use Aaron. I'll probably trade over the Javelin over to Brody. Thieves. Yeah. Okay, you did not get hit, so let's go ahead and let Rody use the slim. Wait, no, I won't double anyway. So we'll just use the iron. If I doubled, that would have made a difference, but no. Honestly, having Gordon weaken to power up Rody is not a bad idea. Okay, Mark. Your turn. Yeah, Empire's reinforcements have arrived. Agma's leaving. One of my best units. 
which we probably won't get. Actually, we may get him, like, briefly. I forget when we do get him. Yeah, take you Bellow and you Mina, who I really didn't use. Honestly, once I bench you Bellow, he was just kind of bench for good, because mages in this game, if you can never get them strength boosts, it's uh, kind of hard to use them. I used you mean it a little bit more, but for the rescue staff. Come on. There we go. Okay, next turn for you, we'll just we'll just do this. You know what? I may pull up a uh I only need about... Because I just kind of need an idea of what uh, we're going to be coming up against. I'm okay with looking at guides since I beat the game already. Okay, Brody, can you get the KO? We just let Mark stand on the fortress for a little while. Or maybe he needs healing. Oh, yep, he's gonna need healing. Okay, let's see. Your attack speed is two, you won't double anyone. Can you make it? No, you can't. for a while either. Yeah. Give Rody another level. I don't know if he's getting good stats. I don't think he is, but you know, we gotta just train someone. Good, I'm not being attacked by archers. Come on, Marth. There we go. At least you dodged. Yeah, Marth's gonna need the training. I don't know how good he'll be, but he's gonna need training. I think we're done with Thieves, so I'll send Rody up here. on the mountain tile than there is on the fort. Yeah, only by a little bit. I'd rather take the healing, but the thief's not moving, or the archer's not really moving. I'll still probably end up using Catria. Yeah, I'll still probably end up using Catria and Paula, because they were good units. Warren, honestly, wasn't that great. Now I'm really thinking about it. He was kind of struggling with, like, speed. He had the power, and he had better movement than, like, Gordon. But he was really struggling with speed. Heal Marth if needed. Yeah. Okay, Marth, yeah, we're gonna heal you. Oh, 
Oh, of course I miss. Come on, Mark, you can do better than that. I know you can. You can slay shadow dragons. There we go. You can make it to the archer. There we go. At least you have you can double. At least you can do that. But, oh, you you mean I can't even? Uh, Melissa can't even make it there. Can't cross the mountain. Now, if I remember correctly, he won't. Well, he has a broken item. I know that. He has a broken uh, spear. So he's not as strong as he could be. Uh, however, I think I want to heal up a little bit because I don't remember. I know we actually fight him. I'll spend another turn. Make sure I'm healed up. Yeah, that's that's close enough. Alright, Martha's the only one that really needs to go over there. Okay. First, just in case. Talk to the Lorenz. Through the sex. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. This this takes a while. Oh yeah, he blows himself up when you talk to him. I guess I could have tried fighting him. I guess I could have tried. I didn't think about that. Oh well, you're level 7. Wow. Alright. Lorenz is dead. You fiends, don't come near us or we'll end ourselves. And then here it comes... Freaking Lane. Gonna kidnap him. I think that's what he's doing. That's what he was doing. Now we're off to Metal. Never! Alright, Lang now will be traitors. We don't have the strength to fight Lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's rescue Minerva. Except not really. Alright, there we go. Chapter 2. Uh, so we're going to start off with Katria. We'll definitely use her. She was pretty good. Uh, Warren, on the other hand, he wasn't really that great, so we'll probably, if we recruit him, great. If we don't, we'd be better off just not bothering. Oh yeah, does this tell me how, uh, where the thief is going to go? Because there's the thief with the lady sword, and we can give that to Katria. Let's go ahead and let me, uh, let me trade stuff. First of all, we'll give the iron bow to Ryan. The iron lance can currently go to Cecile. Currently. 
save. Alright, um... Let's get that started. There's Catria. We'll probably just hand the Iron Lance to her. Unless she starts with something else. I still don't know where the the thief with the lady sword actually goes. He runs away, but I don't know where he actually goes. Anyway, let's bring you up here. Have you rush. Where's the seal? And have the seal go ahead. Trade over the iron. Let's see what goes this way. There's gonna be a lot of flyers here. I know these three we go here and here. And we already know that Rumel here is going to uh, he's able to move. I want everyone else. Get everyone else on the side. Like, I'm gonna split the... I'm basically only gonna have Katria on that side to get Lauren and maybe Aaron over there, but everyone else... Everyone else is going over here. Again, we may get Warren. I don't know. So yeah, I was probably better off with Caster than Warren, because Warren was only okay. He just did not have the speed growth. Which one is Warren? Is it the last one that moved? Yes. I'll go ahead and let you get rid of this archer. Or not, Aaron. Jeez. Fine. I'm gonna have to do what I can. I'm not losing Katria. I'd rather keep Katria. She was pretty good. Although I didn't really use her in the actual final chapter, but still, she was pretty good. did you miss? I really need you to actually hit that. We may need... We'll probably end up doing a reset because of that. Let's see, North. Wait, can you block? No, you can't. Of course you can. Ryan. And Alyssa. 
Alright. And... Huh. She survived. Interesting. She needs to back up and heal now, but... Interesting. Typically one of the harder stuff. Typically harder. Because you're very limited on what you can do. As much as I would love to give Katria some of that EXP, she needs some backup and heal. I think he's too far away now. I think the one with the Lady Sword is gonna now get away. I don't think there's really a, any chance. At least the thing about the Lady Sword, though, I didn't really end up using it that much. I thought I would really get to use its effect a lot more. I really didn't. It really all... It really wasn't that useful. So, I, I don't think I'm gonna strip. You know what? I'm not gonna stress out about the Lady Sword. So, for right now, we need healing. So, we need Melissa to go up here and heal. I use the Slim Lance, I can double. Yeah. And get the crown. That works. Alright. Drog can go ahead and stand here and block the path a bit. Marth, go ahead and do your thing. Oh, of course you don't actually get rid of the Archer. Uh, Catrin is actually pretty high level. Or not high level, high HP. So we'll do. Actually, you know what? We'll let Gordon get rid of this guy first. Catria, go ahead and work on this guy. We can get away with the iron. Attack of 14, attack of 11. Yeah, we can get away with the iron. We have attack speed. You back out. I guess I'll still let Aaron go this way. I doubt he's making it to the feet. Okay, let's see how this goes. Getting that crit helped me out. Yeah, right now Rody can only get one KO. Patrick's dodging. 
gets a crit. Good cat. Good on you, Catria. Drive is still useful to distract enemies. Oh, you're going north. Okay. So the thief is. Uh, the thief has like one more turn. Interesting. Okay. Down here. Gordon. Wait, what is your range? I gotta double check. Okay, we're safe. Gordon. With with the steel. I think we could just get the KO. Okay, we won't get the KO. Okay, seven, three, seven. Brody. The iron will be okay. Oh, you have no offense. I should have caught that. Catria. Attack of 14, defense of 13. Only one. Fine. Fine. It is going to draw. Counting this. I'm counting it. I will reset for that. Because Drog has uses. Wow, it seems like the total amount of deaths was 124 for the main playthrough. When it comes to, like, getting the rest of this completed, it's going a little bit hard, higher. Okay. Aaron's over here. He can start rushing this way. Is this right? Yes, it's Gordon. Good. Gordon's in the right spot. Okay. Dog. We got unlucky with that freaking... Because of course we got a crit. Or we got hit by a crit. Why wouldn't we? Okay, trade. There we go. Um, I have a feeling Warren is going to head this way, so we'll just go ahead and hang out over here. And you know, Ryan, once we actually 
you know, gave him a lot of boosts and then, how, and then promoted him, Ryan ended up being pretty good. Granted, we probably just got very lucky with Ryan. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway. Oh yeah, once we get past this chapter, uh, we'll finally be able to get, or start working on two of the achievements in Chapter 3. So many are going to the left. Warren over here? Yeah, he is. Fine. Be that way. Use your range. Good, you actually hit him. I think I'll just let Rody have this one. Uh, wait. Was that six? No, no, no. Marth? You fight. Okay. Good route range. Let's get Drog up here. Gordon, you need to be up here. Up here. Up here. There we go. I already know Katria can actually survive a single hit. So that's nice to know, actually. Most of the cows are going to the right. It's useful. And Aaron's going to basically just steal EXP. It's whatever. I was going to say, he didn't get any XP out of that, but no, I'm done. Like, no animations doesn't show. EXP. Oh no, Warren's attacking! Yeah, I feel like Caster would have been a better unit. going. Cheetah didn't end up being that useful, nor did she really recruit anyone. So I didn't, so I guess Cheetah wasn't really as useful as she was in book one. Because I am not paying attention to ranges. Do I reset for that? 
Yeah, I probably should. Man, this is like the first playthrough all over again. Except this time I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. Okay. That's the thing. Ryan or Aaron could be useful later. Just for, like, because he's a promoted unit. For right now. And I feel like we want to keep him alive. Oh. Again, I'll have Katria go to the left, because most of them went to the left when I moved Aaron all the way there. Or was it like, if I remember, wait, wasn't it something like, if I do this, most of them don't go to the left? this was like later Fire Emblem games where I could just permanently show the range of the specific en enemy that I'm worried about so I know where to just avoid. Okay, good. One less archer. That's kind of... It's kind of one, what I wanted to do. If I have you go... Okay, wait a minute. Katria's fine. Katria... Actually, she is not fine. Come on. Use your range. Out of range. Okay. I have Katria talk to Warren here. Let's equip the iron, then we'll talk to Warren. Then we have Warren try to escape or back out of it. Sadly. Katria doesn't have the strength to... Well, she could deal, like, one point in damage. That's about it. Unless I were to give her the silver, silver lance. Okay. Again, gotta be careful about... Alright. I can let Mark go here. So close enough. Rudy. Yeah, that's right, it wasn't enough. So drunk. Might as well. 
It's the same amount. Yeah, it's the same amount no matter what I do. This is a pretty tri tricky early chapter. Just dealing with Wyvern Riders right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, dealing with Wyvern Riders at the beginning of the game, that's very tough. Actually, can Warren do this? He can weaken, that's for sure. Maybe weaken enough for Aaron? Twenty-two. Uh, yeah. I'll take it. I will take it. And then what I'll do is I'll let him. Sure, yeah, go here and get my thief. There, and then Katria gets the lady sword. Okay. She'll probably fight the other cav. I want Rody down here. What is your range? I still want Rody like down here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go all the way down here. Drog, do that. Make sure Mark is safe. Rody will probably get attacked by Cav, so what I'll probably do is I'll have Melissa be close. Maybe Gordon will be in range of something. It's fine. Okay. Oh, you're... Oh, I didn't realize he was in range. Okay. So over here... Can Katria get the skill? 14... Yes. Oh, I did my math wrong. Oops. Fine. Just get rid of. All right, over here. You need to attack someone. Sixteen. So ten damage. Need to weaken this guy. 
or just kill. That works too. Uh, Melissa, actually, hold on. Gordon. Get rid of this one. Now we heal. I gotta, I gotta do what I can. Oh my god. Back on that retro achievements grind. Exactly. We only need four more achievements. But we beat the game yesterday. So that's why we're on chapter two. <laughs> Here, let me show you. We got four achievements to get. <clears throat> In chapter... These are all hidden items that we need to find. There's two in Chapter 3, one in Chapter 7, and one in Chapter 9. We're only going to get those four achievements, and then we're done. But yeah, that's currently the plan. We already did two resets for this chapter, but... I'm still probably not going to stress over every death. It just really depends on who dies now. <laughs> but what's going on, Tyler? It does. It basically means we do have to play nine chapters of the game again, but... So that's the annoying part about this. But hey, we're not playing a full, like, what, 40-plus chapter game all the way through, you know? So, honestly, playing an extra nine chapters is not that bad. We'll live. We'll live through it. Okay, I'll go ahead and let Rody grab this one. Marth can go ahead and grab this one. Let's go ahead and heal Rhodey again. I mentioned you were playing Evil Within. We finally got the second game, which you have never played before. How many... I, again, I have never heard of Evil Within before you mentioned it yesterday. So, like, is this series any good, and how many games are there? And you, you said it was made by the same uh, guy who made the same director of Resident Evil. So. Or at least RE4 or something like that. Has very RE4 vibes. There's only two games right now, but there's maybe a third one. Okay, okay. You know, of, you know there's a game that's like coming out like today or something that I do kind of want to try out, but I don't really have the ability to due to, like, I don't have PS5. Uh, it's the new Wukong game. That actually looks really fun. Okay, I want to try that. From what it looks like to me, it looks like a Souls-like game, but I don't know if that's 100% true. I keep getting mixed messages on that. Mikami directed the first game. No, the second one was directed by someone else. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a good sign that it wasn't made by Mikami. But that doesn't necessarily mean it will be that. Just a different director, it's, you know, different mindset for the series, you know what I mean? But hell, sometimes you can't even trust the same director. Look at freaking, uh, what's his name, uh, from Sega, who made... He originally made Sonic, but then he made Battle in the Wonderworld. It's just like, oh no. 
Granted, I, I think that game got, like, sabotaged or something, but, like, it's still not a good sign. And also, like, there was a lot of... He has a whole scandal. You know, like, a bunch of, like, insider trading or something. It's not a good look. There we go. We died the first time because Draw got hit by a crit and died. I found the first game for a while, and so far the second one is very different. Still really good. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it is different is a sign of the, uh, the new director. Okay. Go ahead, and we're going to start getting... Yes, the writer's bane, how dare I? Oh, come on, draw. You do better than that. Oh, great, we may need to surround him. Okay, yeah, you know what, I may need to surround him. Just to make sure... Uh... Crits are involved. Oh. Right. Social Knights. Um. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just going to take that risk. What is your attack? 15. Four. Okay. I'm just going to take that risk. Gordon, do a lot of damage. Okay. Next up. He has 7 HP left. You have a strength of 8. Strength of 7. Wow. If you were to attack... 22 minus 14. Uh, let me pull out the calculator. Because I don't want to do math right now. 8. Accuracy is a hundred. Uh, and not only is my accuracy a hundred, this archer will be on the can't make it to Catria. Actually, you know what? Let me try something. Let me try something. I know being risky right now. Catria, right here. If we attack with the silver, this will be seven damage. And I can double. And we got the crit. Thankfully, despite being different, it still seems to keep a lot of elements of the first one. So it's not like they're rewriting history. Well, that's that's something. Again, when did the so when did the first one come out? Okay. I want to say the second boss is actually really tough. All right. Okay. 
So I think I may try to give Rhodey these two kills. Level 8, level 3, level 7. Yeah. Never mind. It's gonna be 10 years this year. Oh, so not that old. Okay. It's not that old, the game. Again, no, I, again kind of like no wonder I'd never really heard about it. So did Shinji Mikami leave after after RE4 or did he do like RE5? I better just give you some EXP. We got Lind. Her aura tone is going to be very useful. It is very strong. It's a fire emblem. Okay, a shield. He did a few other non RE projects with Capcom before leaving, but he was involved in five. So it sounds like RE4 was the last RE game he did. But he, uh. I'm guessing he did a few. When you said he did a, a few other things, was it like Dead Rising? Uh. Was Dead Rising one of the ones he worked on? Because that's all I could think of at that era that he probably would have worked on. Okay, we've made it to chapter three. This is where we can get two achievements. Uh, I think I'll let Katria just hold the silver. So last time... The four Draco Knights in the middle didn't move, like, at all. So that's useful, because we can just pick them off one by one. We'll be using Paula, because she's actually a really good unit. Uh... Okay. Julian makes it easier to pick up. Hidden items because, you know, he's a thief, he's guaranteed, but he's all the way over here. The last project, God Hand. Oh, is that the... Oh, which one was God Hand? Is, it, wasn't that like a, uh, a simulator-like game? Kind of like... Not like a my, not like a My Sims, but more of like a uh, oh I forget like what the actual comparison would be. Man, Mark, you you now need a new, a new sword. Okay, we're gonna kind of do what I did last time, where we're gonna have Drog lure these guys out one at a time, Gordon and maybe Ryan. Actually. Gordon and Lind get rid of the Draco Knights. We're gonna have Katria fly this way, and she is going to work up here with Paula. Work on them. Marth is gonna go around. Rhodey is also gonna go around. Because Rhodey and Aaron as well. Aaron's here for backup. Uh, just one. Who has the writer's bag? Actually, where did it go in storage? Where'd the writer's bag go? It was catching. Yeah, it, it must have went in storage. We'll give Rhodey the writer's bag. Bizarre action game, kind of hard to explain since it's pretty unique. 
Uh, can you send me, like, some sort of link to God, God Hand? Like, maybe... So I can kind of take a glance at it, because I, I think I'm getting confused with a different game. I don't know if it should be a trailer or something. I just want to take a glance and see if I'm remembering the right thing. Here, and Catra is going to spin go that way. Cecile, you, you need to give Mark your iron sword. There you go. Rody, you head over here. Okay. The first one that can move needs to stand right here. Get out of the way. Lauren, you also need to get out of the way. Melissa, you go there. Lind, we go here. Just need a bunch of units out of the way. And let Gordon have given the chaos. Alright. So, there are two items here. One of them is actually pretty close by. Well, the item's not that great. Still gotta pick it up. I'll probably let... Actually, I might let C uh, Cecile just stand there and try to get it. Paul's gonna get rid of that thief right now. Alright. So, Mark, you go this way. Again, I want to make sure I'm out of range from the list. Aaron, you go over here. Brody, I need you to grab the Rider's Bane. We'll just have you go ahead and get the item. Jordan, can you grab the KO? With an attack of 25, no. With an attack of 34, we can weaken. Yeah, we'll, we'll just weaken. Actually, Lint, how well can you damage him? Right, 8 damage. 16. So used to Lin doing a lot more damage. But yeah, was God Hand? That was the last project he did. Is that the only other one he did other than Resident Evil, or did he do anything else? to grab the feet kill just to play it safe. Okay. Now we we still want to get Julian. Okay, is taking Minerva. Uh, spade through decks. Makai's dies later, just... He's already injured in a village, just to give us starlight. Makai's feels, uh... Underutilized in book two. Hmm, that, that's good to hear about Makami. Probably just give Gordon the kill. All was doing okay. I'm gonna have her and Katria just go into the center. 
deal with the Draco Knights up there before they potentially do something. Okay. Uh, Cecile... No. Cecile, you need to wait here, actually. From what I understand... Yeah, can you, like, uh, post a link to that on stream so I can take a glance at it? I'll probably just take a glance on my laptop because I, I might be getting it confused with a different game. Now, let me, let me take a look. Oh, it's PS2. I thought God Hand was a PS3 game. Clover Studios, okay. God Hand was, uh, Clover Studios is the company that made, I believe, Beautiful Joe, and they made Okami. Oh, no, this game. Okay, I recognize it now. I'm now recognizing some of the visuals. Is it a beat up or something? Yeah, it's a, it's a 3D beat -em up Okay. Okay, okay. Now now I'm kinda recognizing it. I knew I like recognized the name. But Clover Studios, that was you know, that was the Okami team. Beautiful Joe. They're training their last game bomb really hard. What was Clover's last game? It wasn't Okami, was it? Because Okami is too good of a game. Oh, it was God Hand. That was their last game. Ouch. Is God Hand any good? I mean, if it bombed, it probably didn't, but... If it bombed, it probably wasn't that great, but maybe there's, like, other factors involved. And if that was the last game Clover Studios did, that was, uh, that was unfortunate. Although, I know there's, like, Okami then, but I don't know if that was Clover Studios or just Capcom. I mean, I could glance. I have the game over there. It's not just good, it's amazing. Pure God Hand is fun, so why didn't it do well? Was it just too late on the PS2? What year did it come out? Maybe I'll just have to give that game a try one of these days. I know I need to give Beautiful Joe a go. I have never just... I, I've just never owned it. But those are the only ones that I know that Clover made. Beautiful Joe and Okami. Okami's great. Tommy's a great game. I've been wanting to play Okami again. But at this point, I know because I have the Wii version, and Dolphin can play Wii games, I could maybe play through that, but I wouldn't mind the potential achievement set, you know what I mean? We'll wait for that, maybe? I don't know. Go into the village next turn. Cecile, so you're standing here. We found the hidden treasure. It was a bridge key. Just in case, um, just in case Warren, you know, you didn't recruit him, and you know, you didn't take his bridge key, so that way you have a way to open this drawbridge. Well, let's be honest, there's a lot of guys here you kind of just don't want to deal with. So you almost rather just ignore them and move around. Okay. Right, I already moved Paula, correct? Yes, okay. Oh, 
I didn't realize Lind was in range there. Or at least she dodged. I think it did well enough in Japan, but the West it did terribly. Oh, okay. Could have just been a marketing issue, maybe. Actually, it could also be when it released. Like, maybe it released at a bad time with bad competition. Alright, thank you for rescuing this village. We don't have much of a reward, but take this silver axe. It's an expensive item. It should sell for a good price in the shops. That was basically your hint telling you, you don't get axe users in this game. So I just kind of kept waiting there and be like, nah, we're gonna get barsed. Why wouldn't we get barsed? And the game never gives you barsed. So I just kept holding silver, the silver axes that we've constantly been given. Just waiting for our axe user that never came. Okay, let's see. You're level 10, you're level 7. Let's try to give the kill to Katria. She needs the EXP a little bit more. Oh, that Paulo weekend. Or just get a KO, that works too. Wait, what did we get? Knight's Crest, okay. Uh, yeah, we could just use the silver and start attacking. Okay. 2006, which is around the same time as the PS3. Uh, right. I forget. Wait, no, hold on a minute. That might not be as bad as you think just because of the PS3, because if I remember correctly, the PS3 had the issue where it was too expensive at launch. So... I think that wouldn't have been the, an issue. Because the PS3 was too expensive. So they'd be like, yeah, we'll either move on to 360 or we'll do... just continue getting PS2 games. Yeah, I remember that was a problem with the PS3. It was too expensive, so people didn't really want to get it. So, I don't think that by itself really hurt it. Okay. Let me take a look. Uh... Okay, wait a minute. What did we get? A Silver Lance? Oh, yeah. We can... We can throw that in storage. That's fine. Okay. When did... Critically it's clean titles. Uh Twilight Princess was 2006, but that was in November on the Wii and December on the GameCube, so that wouldn't have interrupted it. Uh Gears of War, November. Oh. Oh, Okami was also was also 2006. Okay, hold on, can we find God Hand? What what month did that come out? Let me find a release for God Hand. Let's see, God Hand came out... Uh, 
Okay, in America, it came out in October, on October 10th. In Japan, it was September. Let's see. Uh, Okami on the PS2 was April. So that would have no... There would be no competition there. That's not an issue. Elder Scrolls 4 was March. Uh, Final Fantasy 12 was March. How popular is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent? Because that was October. New Super Mario Bros. was May. Um, Elite Bait Agents was November. Tekken 5 was July. Double May Cry was January. Hmm. Oh, Disgaea was 2006. Honestly, when you look at... There's also the infamous IGN review that gave the game a 3, which probably was the main reason, but I doubt it helped. I'm looking at, like, the critically acclaimed, acclaimed titles of 2006, right? And I'm looking at the release dates, and... When you consider that Gone Had came out in October... Maybe you can make the argument that people were just saving up for Twilight Princess the next month. But when it comes to, like, October releases, the only thing that would give direct competition would probably just be Tom Clancy's Splitter Cell Double Agent. As well as there's a Ram Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas that came out the next month. How did they get away with two Tom Clancy games within a month from each other? Oh, one was Xbox, one was Xbox 360. Okay, I think that's the reason. Still, uh, those are the only games I could think of that would probably be direct competition because it would be in the same month. But maybe you can make the argument that people were just going to wait for Twilight Princess. Or some other game like Gears of War. Guitar Hero 2 was November. November 7th. Medieval 2, Total War, that was November. Yeah. Uh, there didn't seem to be a game that was directly, like, direct competition. If Twilight Princess was, like, in the same month, that would be, like, no. Yeah, yeah, there's no way. It was Twilight Princess. But there didn't seem to be a game that would have directly affected them. Maybe it was the IGN review. That was a big factor. Or maybe people were just saving their money for some later games. I didn't realize Okami was 2006. And that was the PS2 version. The Wii version probably came out a year or two later. The game doesn't get the recognition. Maybe I'll give it a try one of these days. Why is the game so expensive? <laughs> oh no. That might be one of those. That might be one of those just emulate it sort of ones. Uh, no, the ad start. Ad hasn't started yet. Yeah, the game's spendy. Uh, a used copy, uh, a loose one is $99. And a complete one is $140 for God Hand. Like, why is it so spendy? Oh no, you both have been hit. I don't think I can trust both of you to survive. Um... Let's 
that's the thing about old games, it's always a gamble how much you're gonna have to pull from the console. Well, that's the thing, it's PS2. Honestly, a lot of PS2 games are relatively reasonably priced from what I glanced through. I think this is just a case of uh, maybe not many cop maybe not many copies were even made in the first place because it didn't do well. I don't know. There's a lot of factors involved. As long as we don't open the drawbridge, I think these two will never move, so maybe we can stand on some forts. Actually, is there anything... Go around the map, which is much slower, but you get more control of the game by fighting in the narrow areas. Those Dragon Knights at the mountains will not move when you're passing by the Western Pass. They do when you're near the castle, meaning you can kill them with Katria and Paula. Okay. Okay. I do have Volinaries I can use. Yeah, so, God Hand looks to be pretty spendy. A complete copy, which I usually tend to go for for PS2, is 140. Based on my own personal rules, and I believe it only ever got a PS2 release. Uh, based on my own personal rules, I think that might be in the safe, just emulated category. when it comes to emulation I try to follow. I just realized Lind got a strength boost because she's dealing 9 damage. Alright, draw. Well, what is your attack? That's a wizard range, okay. What's your attack? 17. That's 11, that's 6. Draw will survive. A crit wouldn't have mattered anyway. If there is a crit, you know, well, I would need to get him at full health just to do that. Whatever. Over here, we got two. Is there any way I can deal extra damage? I took, no, I took seven. Ooh, I really only want to fight one. What can you do? 13. Seven, six. Nope. Uh, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Maybe we could back out about here. Unfortunately, I don't see Capcom, Capcom remastering it or anything like that. Yeah, I'd be fine with like some sort of digital version though, but that probably won't happen. This is just one of those cases where you either just need to fork out the money for a game you don't even know if you're going to like, or... You just emulate it, and for that price, for 140, 
for a complete copy? That's a tough sell. Again, that is one of those games where, because it is double the price of getting a brand new game, I'll make that clear, double the price, that I think if you wanted to try it out, go ahead and you get an emulator going. That's kind of my rule. You know, if there's no other way to get it, and it came out in your region, if the, if the physical copy is more than double the price of a brand new game, go for it. Still probably not going to buy a physical copy. Maybe one day for me, maybe one day, but for now, it is just a... Uh, Yeah, I don't think it's a Clover Studios thing where it's like, oh, all Clover Studios games are super expensive. I don't think that's the case. I think God Hand is just in a special category. Right now. Can I get around? No, I can't. You know what? I think it'll be best if I do this. No. Go ahead and have Ron Aaron go up here. We trade weapons. We attack. Well, let me make a comparison for other uh, Okami. Let's see. Uh. For Okami, yeah, PS2 and Wii are cheap. PS2 copy is like 15 bucks. Wii copy is like 10 bucks, and I honestly think that's the better version. So it's not a Clover Studios thing, at least on that front. What's Okami Den? Now that I'm looking at it. A complete copy of Okami Den is 50 bucks. I think I bought mine for 20. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought my copy when I did. Here, let me look up a uh, beautiful Joe. Because that's another Clover Studios one. Uh, beautiful Joe. Complete GameCube for 30. Uh, if you go with the PS2 version, it's also about 30. Beautiful Joe 2, we're talking also 30. For GameCube. Is there a English PS2? Yes. 25 for Beautiful Joe 2 for PS2. So yeah, Beautiful Joe is not that spendy. So yeah, it's not really a Clover Studios thing. It's more of just, I think the game was just the last of its... It was one of the last PS2 games. Oh no, I shouldn't say the last because let's be honest, PS2 kept going for way too long. Uh... It probably just came out at the wrong time because PS3 was out soon. PS3 was coming out soon. Uh, and 360 was already out, so a lot of people were focused on HD stuff. Uh, as well as... Maybe they didn't... The fact that they didn't sell that many copies and maybe didn't produce that many copies makes it even more rare. 
And then when people realize, oh, this game is actually not that bad. I want to buy it. And there's very few copies of it. I think you can see the issue right there. to, like, help out the other group. Rody, you need to, like, you need to heal. And we'll go ahead and let Aaron just start fighting. That's what he's here for. should start sending Cecile up here because we're going to need to make sure someone plugs the forts. I'll start sending my healer away that way too and I'll send Luke that way. Everyone else, I think it's just going to hang out over here. It would take them too long to get across. Is there another Clover Studio game that I'm, like, misremembering and not thinking of? Because I can only think of Beautiful Joe and Okami. They only have like five games. <laughs> it's really just Beautiful Joe 1 and 2. Actually, then there's like. Beautiful... There's two more Beautiful Joes Double Trouble and uh, Red Hot Rumble. Okami and God Hand. That's all Clover Studios specifically made. Yeah, Okami Dance, technically not Clover Studios. I, like you said, God Hand was the last one. And short-lived. Very short-lived. Uh, I'm gonna have Katria fly up here instead. I still want Paula and Katria to deal with, the, with them in the middle. So they need healing, but everyone else needs to start heading that way so we can plug the forts. But yeah, it kind of seems like if I'm going to give that game a go, it's going to be probably just through the emulator. Because that's a little too spendy. Unless they ever release a digital version, you know, like on Steam or something. That would be the only other way. I like owning my physical copies, but for something like that, you kind of want to just at least have a official copy, you know what I mean? Yeah, Okami and Beautiful Joe are not that bad in terms of pricing. It's really just God Hand. Which is fascinating to me. Makes you wonder if there's, like, something I'm overlooking when it comes to, like, why it's, like, super spendy. Sorry. 
you need more healing. You better just stay there to keep the fork plugged. Yeah, sometimes it's just giving uh, the games another chance. And hell, I don't think Beautiful Joe even has releases. Like other releases. Plus, I wouldn't have to go and emulate it all the time. Sometimes that's just something you just kind of have to do if you want to try something out. If it's too spendy, uh, and there's no other way to officially own it, you kind of just have to. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to own a cat. Uh, 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 sorry. I don't think I'm ever going to own a copy of Little Samson. I don't want to pay like a thousand duck, a thousand dollars for like an NES game. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to own Little Samson. So if I want to try it out, I might as well just uh, emulate it, you know? Okay, if I want to make sure these are plugged, let's have Patria down here. Paula here. We're going to have Aaron right here. There we go. Aaron's getting healed. Brody's on the way. Mark's on the way. Cecile's on the way. And then we can have Colin Catria take care of the Draco Knights. You gotta head out. Have a good one, Tyler. Nice for reminding me about God, ha God Hand's existence. Speaking of little Samson, now that's in my head. Well, how much is that? Little... Little Samson. NES. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I am not paying $2,284 for a loose copy of that game. No thanks. If I want to try that out, I am going to <laughs> I'm gonna emulate it. Unless I want to own a copy of the European version, then the loose copy of that is $183. Huge difference between the two. Wait, there comes to a point where it's like, no, I am not paying that. I'm just going to emulate it. You're not going to release an official copy digitally for, like, cheap? Nah, we're not doing that. But yeah, have a good day, Tyler. Yeah, I know Okami, like... It has HD versions, and those are available digitally, so there's ways to play Okami. But I'm surprised Beautiful Joe d doesn't get, like, any special treatment. Like, it has nothing. I think the only ways to play Beautiful Joe is through the GameCube and PS2. Which is weird. Alright, that's plugged. Mark's gonna go grab Julian. And start going for these flyers. Definitely going to be useful to get these hidden items. And the next hidden item we're getting in this chapter, it's going to be very useful. Actually, I can't make it. So we're just going to stay like this close. I couldn't have I could have had them keep moving the entire time. Okay, Marth, go this way. We will need Julian, but not right now. 
we'll need him like after we defeat the boss. Here we use the silver. There we go. Everyone else stays healing. Blocking the forts. Luke and Marissa start to keep moving. You know, Marissa is just kind of here. Let's be honest, she's not going to really catch up. Try to recruit uh, Mathis. Not Mathis. Uh, no, it is Mathis. But I'm not going to stress if I don't recruit him. If I don't get him, that's fine. I'm not going to stress over it. Because I don't plan to use him anyway. give Katria some of these KOs. Well, actually, no. I won't. I don't want her in range with that Ballista. I probably need to either use Martha Rhodey to get close. Sucks is the item that we're gonna get is gonna help so much. Be nice if we had it right now, but oh well. Gotta give the blister first. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna let Julian stand here for a turn. It's gonna take a little bit for Mathis to be close. Okay, if I have Martha stand. How well can you get with this guy? With the slim, only three damage. And you, why do I even try with Rody? Rody really needs something like a uh, Rider's Bane or the shards to freaking give him a lot of stat boosts. Probably just gonna be Marth then. Gonna take a few more turns. Right now, Rody could probably get the KO. Really trying with Rody. Man, Rody, you need like speed and attack. It's a wonder how I actually got you to work. It actually is surprising how 
how I actually got Rhodey to work. And even then, he wasn't used at all in the final dungeon. It's okay. Where's Lena? Well, I can tell you where she is. Garnef kidnapped her. Again, I don't know how he's still alive. Okay. What's your attack? 15. What's your defense? 10. Wow. Marth, you're actually doing pretty good. At least on the defense. You're getting good defense, actually. Strength is okay. Speed's really good. Yeah. Okay, we'll put Marth right here. I think once we get rid of, actually, once we get rid of the Ballista, Lind is probably going to help out with the boss. You know, we're probably going to need Aura. So I'll definitely want Warren to use the key. If not Warren, then we'll use... We'll just give the key to someone else. Either way. I want to make sure someone, like Lind and Warren, are close, I guess. Julian, talk to Mathis. Alright. Well, we got Mathis, I guess. Just another recruit just to fill out the roster, I guess. We can go right here. That'll be better. Alright, lure out the other calf. Oh, and thanks for the follow, Sunrise Alex. Thank you for the follow. Enjoy the emotes. Uh, or emotes, I should say. When can... No, follows. Yeah, emotes. How's it going, Sunrise Alex? Uh, we are current... I've already beat the game yesterday. We're just wrapping up and getting a couple of achievements before moving on to the next game. So yeah, I had to start book two over just to get like four achievements. How fun. Uh... Broken. Alright. Rhodey, I guess you'll do that. Julian can stay there for now. Uh, we need to get rid of this ballista. We'll have Warren get close. So we can uh, get wind over here for getting rid of Rook. Oh yeah, the Taurus! I forget we get that right now. 
But yeah, uh... When I started stream today, we needed four achievements. All of them have to do with hidden items that I had no clue even existed. Uh... We got one that was right in here. It was just a bridge key. And we're gonna get another one in this chapter. The others are in chapter 7 and chapter 9. Just leave it there. Where's my healer? Oh, it's a raid! Hey, Gueno, how's it going? What's going on, Gueno? Uh, I'm doing fine. We uh, beat the game yesterday, and you were playing three houses. Very nice. Uh, which route are you playing? But yeah, we beat the game yesterday, and I'm just wrapping up and getting some of the achievements. That's basically what I'm trying to do right now. Let's go ahead and use your bridge key. Yeah, the, the last four achievements that I'm missing all have to do with hidden items that I miss out on, because how was I supposed to know there were hidden items out and about? There was one right here, and that was a bridge key. Uh, yeah, uh, that is currently the plan. We're going to get the last couple achievements, and then we're going to move on to the next game that I'm going to end up doing. But yeah, how's your Blue, Ryan, Blue Lions run? Okay, we got rid of the ballista. Lynn, you go do your thing. Safe for Julian to move forward. Let's see, is there anything in the shop I would want? Okay. Do that. Okay. Lind, you can't make it yet. Uh, what is in the shop? Steel stuff? Okay, yeah. Paula needs steel and iron. There we go. Because that will actually use her. Uh, Mark needs to head back to the shop because we can sell the silver axe because there's no such thing as a axe user in book two in this game. Axe recruitable axe users? What's that? Never heard of Bars before. That's just a myth. We'll give Rhodey a steal as well. Okay, hold on. You have a steal. You can't hit me. Oh, and I didn't realize Lim got attack speed as well. Let's double the aura. Perfect. Get out of here. And we got the Taurus, which my, might help. Okay, now that the boss is gone, there should be an item here. It is the Iot Shield! That is so good! That is, like, amazing. Why wasn't I able to get it before? Why is it just hidden there without you even knowing that it would be there? Oh my god. That is so useful. Uh, right now I'm gonna restock on items, basically, and then we'll... We'll probably actually just attempt chapter 4. So let's go ahead and sell... Uh, the silver axe because there's no re oh my god 5,000 gold that would have been way use that would have been so useful sooner 
It's a good thing I now know that there's no recruitable axe users. <laughs> Let's get you a steel. I think that's all you need. Yeah, that's all you need. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the slim lance in supply. So you don't really need it. We'll give you a steel. This is really useful for attack speed and nothing else, really. If you're fast enough with buying you're good enough. Oh yeah, how far did you get in your blue, blue ri lion's run, Bueno? Also, don't you, like, just jump around between games every day? So, like, I have no idea, like, what games you play and what order. Sometimes I see you, like, play, like, a mech game. Sometimes I see you play Dragon Quest Builder. Sometimes I see Dragon Quest 4. So I'm, like, really confused on what your schedule actually is. You're about to do a second 1v1v1 next stream. What does that mean? Oh, are you talking about blue lines? Okay. Wait, I don't know. Battle Eel Lion, I think. Okay, okay. I think I think I know where you are. Yeah. Was that like chapter what, chapter eight or so? Somewhere around there, give or take? Probably a lot of variety of games since you since you were a Let's Play channel. Right. I do like to play a variety of games, but not, like, I don't swap every day, like, that's just not me. But I do swap games, you know, or swap genres, you know, uh, basically after every game. But I don't, I don't really swap between games every, every day, if that makes sense. You swap every week? Oh, okay. Do you, like, keep your schedule updated so that people know what you're prioritizing with? Uh, okay. At least you do that. H has that? When it comes... Okay. So, I could definitely say you are considered a variety streamer because of how often you swap games. Is, do you consider a variety streamer for someone who plays a game in one genre, like, say, Fire Emblem, and then jumps to, say, a shooter the next game but plays through that? Is that a variety streamer, or is it, or does variety streamer mean just someone who swaps games, like, every day? Like, what is the criteria? Because I don't know if, if I'm considered that or not. Once you finish all the RPGs you're currently playing, you can focus on one game for now. So you do want to try to trim out the fat, try to get some games done so you can focus on others, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just swap it to Taurus over. Do that. You have too many on your backlog. I mean, I have a, a lot, I have a large backlog too. But my mindset is, if you focus on one game for stream, uh, the sooner you get to finish that game and move on to something else. There was a time where I was playing two games per week. Basically three for three days a week for one game, two days a week with the other games. But when I decide I decided to just swap it to just one game. That way the game gets finished a lot sooner and the idea is if someone is not interested in that game then the game will be done a lot sooner than otherwise but if it's like if you're jumping between like even just two games then if someone's only interested in one then you get less content out of it, it am i making any sense that's kind of why i decided to just pick one game at a time Because there are definitely people that will watch a stream just because of the game you're playing, right? So, if you jump 
between games too much, then they may not stick around. I don't know. There are games that nobody wants to watch, and there are others that people want to. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So, since we got the IO shield, we got two out of the four achievements I am missing. The next one is in Chapter 7. So, we got a few chapters to go before we, uh... We get to basically where the achievement will be. But yeah, and if there is a game you're playing that no one's interested in, right? If you're focused on one game at a time, then it means you're done with that game even sooner, you know? Or if it's really bad, you can, like, just call it early. <laughs> That's just kind of what I was thinking. But yeah, is a variety streamer someone that swaps games like every day or every other day? Or is a variety streamer that will swap genres just no matter what and doesn't stick to one type of game? Because I, I want to know the definition. You say so? So maybe I could call myself a variety streamer. Maybe. I definitely can't call myself something like a Fire Emblem tuber, that's for sure, because I'm not exclusive to that. Alright. Chapter 4. This is the one with Sir. Oh, yeah, we finally get Ogma. Ooh, we got another main team member. Now, when you try playing Altier Rise of 1, never heard of that one. Since you played plenty of other games, nobody came to that and tried rushing through it and it didn't well. Mm. After a certain point, you gotta wonder if you should just call it, you know? And just be like, ah, this isn't worth it. I do, like, I do understand the idea of, like, playing a niche game. Like, when I played Soul Blazer, really no one knew what that was, right? Or none of the viewers that watched. But, like, the idea for me was, like, sometimes I'll play a niche game just to be like, hey, this is a cool game. Give it a look. And when I got some replies saying, hey, I've never heard of this game before, but now I'm interested in it, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Even if it didn't do all that well and only like a few people saw it, it was still uh, a good reaction. Right. No one was watching Rise of the Channel, but you saw another channel was playing it, it was very lively. Oh, that's annoying. But with that, in that case, you have to wonder, is it the game, or did people go to the, uh, to the creator, you know what I mean? Because in that case, maybe it was just because the creator, uh, is popular. Yeah, exactly. You just don't know all the time, and that's the frustrating part. Probably use the rescue stack here soon. Definitely want Ogma here. Okay. Let's see. Got a bunch of axe users, which my main force is now down there. Alright. Paula, let's see how well you can do with this onslaught. Steal. Everyone else, back away. We'll probably plug forks up later. I want to make sure everyone else is out of the way. Yeah, sometimes it's just playing, picking the right game at the right time. And I don't always know what the, the best timing would be, you know. And sometimes... It's just about showing people a niche game that they've never heard of before. And if they're now interested in that game because you played it, hey, that's a win in my book. Because I got that reaction when I played Soul Blazer a little bit. But you can't always, you know, stream like that. You have to think about, well, what brings the most viewers, and that's the tricky part. Also, uh, this, uh, Ryza game, what system was it for?
Because again, I have never heard of this one. PC, Switch, PS4. So it's a recent game. Okay. Yeah, I never heard of it. I was going to say, if it was older, you could have tried throwing it in the retro, retro tab and get lucky there. But no, I don't think that's the case. RPG with heavy emphasis on crafting. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was an H. That's fine. I really enjoyed the second one, too. Is, it, is there only the two games? A trilogy. Oh, okay. Must the series must have released sooner than I think it does. There's other Altier games with different names. Huh. It's weird. Again, I have never heard of the series before. Okay. I don't know how much we'll actually use Sirius, but you know, he'll help out for a little while. Okay. Uh see. Yeah, sometimes it's just about picking the right game at the right time. Uh, yeah, I don't fully know what I'm doing either, so. Here's someone from the late 2000s to early 2010s that loved the Altier series. Oh, so the... Okay, wait a minute. So there's Altier... What was the one? Let me look at the... Altier Ryza 1. That's what you were playing. So there's Altier... Sophie, is that one like from the early 2000s? Maybe it's an older series than I thought. I thought it was a more recent one, but mid 2010s, huh? So, is there a series that came out before that one then? Let's see. I can have Paula go here. The spots. Started as a PS1 game. Only in Japan. Oh no. Altier Marie from the 90s. That one got a remake, okay. Again, when you now that you mention only in Japan, no wonder I've never heard of it. Let's just use Aura. Yeah. Here, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna hold this up before I forget. Oh, T. Yeah. Just. There, I have that. I have that open on my tab. There we go. I can look at it later. Okay, let's see. Is it like a big franchise that mostly just was in Japan for a while and just never came over here? 16. Ogma has this. Like, uh, it seems so. You know, we got a US releases in the 2000s. But well, you said Marie was in the 90s, so it probably wasn't that long before it got new, before it got a US release. Unlike, like, Fire Emblem is kind of what I'm trying to get at. Like, Fire Emblem took forever for a game to come here. Well, let's get... Let's go ahead and get Catch. to come out in the U.S. in 2005. I'm guessing that was PS2. Okay, hold on. I have, like, price charting up. I'm gonna look this up. All T Lear.
multi-layer No, Iris. Multi-layer Iris. I did not type that right. What if I just leave it at that? You know? Just kind of curious. Oh, no L. Okay, I see. Sorry. Oh, there's Vita games, PS4, Iris 2 on PS2, Iris 3, wow, okay, hold on, so Iris 1 on PS2 is 30 bucks, that ain't bad, Iris 2, about 30 bucks, so maybe a little closer to 35, Iris 3, 45. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I see Nippon, uh, I see the, oh, this is the Dis Disgaea group. Okay, okay. Uh, what, what's the brand? It was like Nippon Entertainment Software, not Entertainment. But yeah, I recognize the, I'm, I recognize the developer because of Disgaea. Okay. You missed the ending? Yeah, that was that was last stream, Juice. Uh, we are just wrapping up with the achievements. I am currently missing two. Uh, get the Physic and Staff in Chapter 7 and the Silver Axe in Chapter 9. We just got the two uh, items in Chapter 3. The desk behind the LTR series is now owned by Koei Techno. The devs or just uh, NIS in general? The devs called Rust. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe I need to look into it a little bit more. And I was just looking at Iris. I didn't realize that was like a three game uh, thing. I thought it was just might have been like a single thing. Wow, it seems like a bigger series than I might have thought. Again, I might need to look into the series a little bit. Um, no one can really fight me. What's your range? Oh, Lin's getting attacked. I'll go ahead and let stand here. Ooh, you don't want to get attacked. We'll let Gordon stand here. Alright. Oh yeah, Juice, uh, we beat the game yesterday with, you know, the Shadow Dragon not actually being a dragon because he's not weak to the Falchion. And, uh, with his goofy grin, I really don't like that sprite. It looks too goofy. Uh, we managed to get all the characters. So, yeah. By the way, Juice, when you brought up retro achievements, like, you were confused why Maria didn't have a achievement. It's, and I know the reason why. It's because if you look at the achievement, I'll pull it up. It's not that she was, like, automatically recruited. It's that... Here, I'll let this play out. For a second. Who's getting attacked? We're fine. You gotta head out? Well, see you later, Gueno. Thanks for telling me about the series. I'll probably take a look at it. But yeah, uh, Juice. There is one for Maria. It's book one or two, Recruit Maria. That's why. That's why you were, uh, that's why there wasn't one for getting Maria in book two. Specifically, because you could get Maria in either version and still get the achievement. Go ahead and let Lind grab this KO. How's it going, Hawthorn Dog? What's up with the sun? Is it blinding you? Go here. Go here. 
Let's just see what we go here. Now the forts are plugged. We're not dealing with reinforcements. At this point, we're just trying to get as far as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible. Gotta get to chapter 9, you know? Roading is Mathis can plug the other spot. Okay. Agma really needs some uh, healing. Patria could. Uh, we need to get rid of archers first. Yeah, what's going on, Juice? What's going on, Hot Corn Dog? I suspect we'll probably be done with the achievement grind. I don't I don't know about today. It depends on how fast we could get to chapter nine. I doubt it. So maybe tomorrow? It's really it's really hot out. I don't know. It's actually kinda like overcast on my end, so it's not that bad. Lucky me, I guess. Patria will have you go here. Sleepy from work and hot out. Wow. I guess I'm currently lucky with the weather right now. Because again, it's not that it's like overcast for me. Actually, on Sunday there was like a thunderstorm. It's kind of funny. Like the first time it rains in months, and it's a thunderstorm. Or in weeks, probably not months, but still. Won two matches in Fortnite. Feels very good. Uh, two matches out of how many? Yeah, Juice, I, I really wish you showed up yesterday because, like, uh, two matches out of eight? Well, that's a uh, one in four. One in four chance of winning. That's all. That's not bad. And uh, Juice, I really wish you showed up yesterday to like give me hints about who to take with me to the final uh, final chapter. Because once I realized, uh, once I realized that I needed Sirius and Merrick, uh, I had to reset. You know that was kind of annoying. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I was assuming, okay, they were warning me to bring certain characters. I wasn't too sure with which, right? Yeah, he was lacking yesterday. I mean, I figured Julian for Lena, Minerva for Maria, which I had to bench like Sheeta for that. And I was guessing because Lind was Nina's, you know, right hand. I figured bring Lind, and then I thought Marth would just be able to recruit Elise because, you know, Marth and Elise are brother and sister. You'd think that would have been enough. No, no, no. It's Merrick. It was Merrick and Sirius. I'm like, I should have realized, I should have thought about Sirius. I didn't think about it, but Merrick, nah, I, that one I didn't think of. You didn't even get all the orbs. You missed the Earth one. And you got that ending. Then you moved on to F4. Um, let me ask then. Uh, if you don't get all the orbs, does the game end after you defeat Harden? Is that where the game ends? Okay, we'll survive. Eh? Hard to remember because of book one ending where Merrick and Marv's sister fall in love. Exactly. And I didn't remember that. But still, I would have thought Marth would be able to talk to his own sister. I thought that would have worked. May I show up, but the Binding Shield cannot reveal their demons. So does the game just end there, then? You beat Harden, you get uh, the Maidens show up, but you don't find out their uh, 
fakes. I would love to get EXP. I kind of want to just get the place plugged. Yeah, it doesn't really kill. It puts him to sleep, though. Oh, I Go ahead and let Paula grab this one. I think we just need the iron. One more attack would have done it. One more point in attack. Right. Marth, you keep moving. Lind, you keep moving. Uh, Melissa, you keep moving. Everyone else can kind of just stay here. As long as the forts are plugged, I'm good. And no thieves, so we can let me bellow and... Catria could use another turn of healing. Sirius could use some healing, healing too, but it's really odd that they need to. Yeah, it's been forever since seen, seen bad ending. Can't recall it 100%. But yeah, uh, the, the binding shield doesn't kill Earth Dragons, they just go to sleep. They're like, oh, I wake up, I'm here to attack. Oh, I'm so sleepy. And then they fall asleep. I guess if you were to play the remake, there's more than just Earth Dragons and they won't go to sleep, based on what I was seeing. At least that's from what I understand, based on what I saw. Story-wise, I kind of like the idea how the you know to recruit the four clerics, but it's kind of sad. You basically cannot play the game with those four characters at all. It is like impossible. Like if you want to play the game with Lena, you basically need to hack the game and swap her out with like someone else if you wanted to actually use her. But it did kind of seem like this game was more focused on telling a story. Well, not more focused, but it, it's like, oh, we're on the Super Nintendo. Let's actually, let's try to tell a better narrative. Kind of, that's kind of what it seemed like. Also, the fact that you do not get a single axe user. I'm gonna keep bringing this up because I was not expecting there to be no actual recruitable axe users. And the fact that the game actually gives you silver axes threw me off. I know the villager said, oh, you should sell this. I'm like, ah, I mean, that could be used for easy money early on. But if I hold on to it, I can have a good weapon for when I recruit Barst. Only to never recruit Barst. By the way, Juice, did you know about the hidden items in Chapter 3? Because I didn't. Uh, one of them was a bridge key. You know, just in case you didn't get Warren and you wanted to take the bridge route. And the other one's the IO shield. Yeah, I kind of wish I knew about that. So 
Same with the clerics, you gotta run the f four of the kind of like FE7, where some of the maps you have to field. Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing. They have to get through three chapters based on how that's based on how that uh, chapter works. They have to get through three of them. There are a few secret items, like in chapter three, the bridge chapter next to the castle. Yes. The IO shield was next to the castle. And I can easily see how you would miss these items, because I don't think the game ever hints you about these. And if you wanted the bridge key, guess what? Your thief is on the other side of the village, uh, on the other side of the map. So you basically gotta rely on luck to get that bridge key. We're at full health, yes. There's a bridge key around the bridge. Yeah, I got that one. It's a super secret key. But again, I don't think the game ever hints you about those items. Is that one of those things where, uh, to find out these secrets, you had to get, like, Nintendo Power? You know, Japanese Nint Nintendo Power, I guess. And it's Castor. If I'm gonna use an archer, it'll be Castor. Because, let's be honest, you know what? Castor deserves an apology. I'm sorry, Castor. Warren was not that great. I should have recruited you again. Well, I don't know why I thought... Uh, I don't know why I thought Warren would be better, but no, Castor, you got sidelined when you probably should have been a part of the main team. Right, uh, I forgot, like, I need to look at that, uh, video. Because I knew they were, they announced they were building the Nintendo Museum. Nintendo Museum. <laughs> yes, exactly, the museum. Uh... Is it actually open, or is it just, like, showing what's inside? I need to watch that stream, or that video. It's not that long. But yeah, I wouldn't mind going to see it. If they have Femicom Disc Rider on display, they probably would. Honestly, I could easily see them uh, showing off their early days where they were where they were a toy company first. I could see that. Thirteen, ten. Katria needs to train me a little bit more. So I'm gonna let me do that. Yeah, I have a feeling they're going to show off some of their stuff where they were just a toy comp- Oh, I forgot that needs to be plugged. I made- mistakes were made. Yeah. Makes you wonder if they actually still have something. Mistakes were made. Okay. Uh, because mistakes were made. We go here. I forgot. Someone needs to keep that plugged. All right. Catria. Do your thing. Be back in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do what you need to do.
That's enough. Exactly enough. And what do you have? A silver. Actually, I'll make you some healing. If anything, I'll use serious. I think serious is a better Aaron than Aaron. Probably. Actually, I could compare the two. Level 6, strength of 11, 12. Oh, yeah. One extra level higher. 11, 12, 14, 1. Okay. Aaron has more luck. 11, 10, 6. Other than luck, Sirius has better stats. That's insane. Okay, Marth. Can we do this? Mm, not really. Maybe we'll let Sirius handle this. 27. 24 attack. Total defense. Yeah, we'll, we'll let Sirius handle this. were to use the steel for 10 damage. There we go. There we go. Uh, it doesn't matter what goes in storage. Alright. Let's clear the chapter. And there's Sheeta, where she wasn't that great, honestly. Not that great of a unit. Honestly, yeah, Katria and Paolo were way better. Probably would have been better off waiting for S and then just have those three be my flyers. Although you have to use Minerva, so you're better off with probably Minerva, Katria, and Paolo. Might as well actually train Minerva if you're going to be forced to use her. Text that speak through. Abel and S were still fighting in the last time. Oh, yeah, I forgot they mentioned about Abel and S this early. You think you would, like, recruit them very quickly, but no, it takes a long time to get Abel and S recruited. Alright, chapter 5. Again, we gotta get to chapter 9. Oh, this is the one where we need to avoid George. Yeah, we need to avoid George. This one, okay. I forgot which... Which one does, uh... Julia need to be to recruit. Oh, Julia's in the right spot. Oh, sorry. Okay, if I were going to take some different units. Oh, let, me, let me bench some characters. 
Uh, keep land, bench Warren, bench Luke, bench Seal, bench Aaron. Let me see, who else can I take with me? Sirius, Caster, Ogma. Still got a bunch of units. Um, oh, why is Paula benched? I'll take Sheeta. Now we get Julian. Now we got one more. Fine, Aaron. Sure. Just to have someone. Alright. We'll give this chapter a go. We'll see how much we could do. Chapter 5, 6, 7, 8. No. Wait. Go on chapter 5. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Let's try to finish this one today. And then maybe save the rest of the chapters for the next one, maybe? We're kind of at the point where we can't just speak through it. Oh, did I put Julian in the wrong spot? I did. I thought... Okay. I'll... Well, I still got him close. Oh, wait. Oh, Rickard's up here. allows me to get Rickard. Round turn one. What was in the village? Oh, it was Hammerin, I believe. I, yeah, if it was Hammerin, you're gonna want that. Yeah, having Mark over there won't do that bad. We gotta avoid George, we gotta leave him alone. Katria, yeah, you rush up. Actually, Katria currently has the Iot Shield. I could put her in range of Ballistas or something. Yeah. She's now not weak to archers. That, that changes things. That changes a lot of things, actually. Still, oh, right. Maybe I want to jog up here. Okay, for right now, I'm going to get Paula to get rid of this. Wait, can I get Augment to do it? Yeah, yeah, I can. Paula's gonna start dealing with the, these guys. I'm gonna have to bring Sheeta. Actually use caster, I may give the killer weapon to Gordon, I don't know. Back to 
this card broken. Right, Julian needs... I, I haven't been trading items around. I should be doing that. Now, I could just say, ignore everything and just let Marth go to the boss. And just try to move on. Or we could get hammered. It is hammer, right? Uh, let's see. Kill the thief. Uh, get me the village, check the knights with silver lances. The rest of the team should head to the castle, blah, blah, blah. Kill the princess. Doesn't say. This guy doesn't actually tell me what the village actually gives you. I think it's the hammer and staff. But if I'm only going to chapter 9, do I really need the hammer and staff? Well, I could, like, spam aura a bit more. That way. It's an option. could get hit by a lot of stuff. How about we go here instead? I think we're going to have Katria just deal with all these guys. So I want her up here. are going to go after the Wyverns. Trade over the men. There we go. Actually, let's get serious on this side. Here. Okay. Aaron. Rudy. Lind. Shrog. Get over here. Archer's head up here, too. I feel like an ad is going to be playing soon. If it does, I'm going to go refill my water. For now. Yeah, George, we... we uh, there's, a room, there's guys there. We should go after them. No, I will not do that. I don't like laying, but I don't want to betray my country. Don't move. Let them attack you first. Be a true Fire Emblem player. Ooh, Rody dodged. Okay. Oh, it really doesn't like Rody. He's getting lucky on these dodges. Okay. Oh! Wait! Oh, is technically the... Is the sword equipped? Is that why he didn't fight back? If so, that's stupid. That's my beat. Oh, 
know the ballistas are attacking Catria. Yeah, having the eye out shield here really makes a difference. And we are not going to bother with the arena. I don't think we'll need it. Get hammer, and that way I can like repair aura if I need to. Okay. Uh, since I messed up, caster. Get a crit. Yeah. Gordon. With your attack speed of three, you can double. very little damage. But that's fine. Uh, maybe Ryan can fight the other one. Brody! No, you can't double. There we go, get the crit. I think with Ryan, the Steel Sword was technically equipped to what's ever in the top slot, so that's why he didn't fight back. can get rid of this guy. Huh, no. Okay. Well, we can have Ryan get rid of this one. Perfect. Can she get rid of the mage? Attack of 15... This whole upper section is cleared out, other than getting rid of the thief. I need to worry about this over here, but that's what Paula's for. This one, Rickard, let's go ahead and trade over the VIP card. Melissa will go heal next turn. Drog, let's make sure this is blocked. Have her stay right here. Oh, I didn't bring Yumino with me. Yeah, if we go to the village, it's going to be the long trek back. Okay. 
Allow me to go refill my water. Be right back. I am back. What's up? Well, we went outside. Alright. Okay, so now that we're back, we're gonna have Marth head up there. We're gonna go get Hammer in just in case. Julian, not Julian, George, we leave him be, leave his group of uh, people alone. <sighs> yep, that's gonna, it's gonna be trouble. I'm serious can go with him. Uh, for right now... As much as I would love to have Katria stick around, it's not a good idea. She needs to back out. Probably heal her next turn. We'll start pushing uh, towards the castle. She didn't need to go this way. Other than that, I think we're good. Uh, guard. 
be the wall he was born to be. Okay. So if I check... I was gonna get attacked by two of them. It is what it is. Where's Kanto when you need it? You know? Sirius can get close. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal. Uh, no, we can't. We can't, actually. Why would I think that? Gordon, do your thing. I got the third. Ah. Lynn. Ah, uh -huh. Thunder probably would have worked out fine. Drug. That's fine. I'm okay with that. damage do you deal? 15 if he hits. It would be 9 damage. Catcher can heal. We'll let Rhodey heal as well. Maybe distract the Ballista. Rather than bringing you down here, this is probably going to be okay. I forgot the rocks deal a lot of damage if they hit. Okay. Okay, Paula, you got this. Level up. down that crit. Okay. Rhodey heals and catch rate heals. In a moment. You deal 27 damage. That's 14. We deal more. You deal 18 damage. 14. Only four damage. Six, six, eight. But we do double. We can afford to let Paula back out. We can let Sirius handle this. There we go. Paula's safe. The thief is gone. We'll let Marth get closer. We just need Paula and, and uh, Cheetah to help get, uh, distract these guys. At this point, though, Paula needs you. Okay. Uh, you have 11. Good. 
so if I go right here, I'm still out of range of Doris. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Still out of range. I'm in range of you, but I'm not in range of you. So it really depends on if Katria gets hit once. Paula, I think we'll just. Sirius is not that strong, at least not with that iron, so we're just gonna let Paula and Sheeta handle it. Take a few turns. Probably mend? How much HP do you need? Yeah, we are mending. Man, Fire Emblem goes by a lot faster when you turn off the animations. That's a for sure thing. There we go. These three are currently safe. I don't think this guy likes to move. I'm gonna drop him forward. And can go here. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't move. I want Katria to be safe, even though she has the Iron Shield. Right here. Oh yeah, there's no way. There's no way. She's safe right here. Now let's get the next one lured out. Just one square forward will do. Katria can't fight Doris because she is currently on the Pegasus. That's why. Okay. Dismount! to attack Lynn. You have an attack of seven. Took four damage. Three. There we go. Again, we're talking four damage if Lind gets attacked. I'm so I'm really scared. Not much. 
damage. I could probably give that to Kishida if I want to, but I may just let it all out of it. I don't know. Hold on. Let's go ahead and just attack with the Lady Sword. And we got the crit. That works. There. We got the Gemini. Well, time to do some shopping. And now that I know that uh, the silver card doesn't exist in this in book two, which I find very strange, I could just go nuts, I guess. How much damage did I do? Just 12? Okay. Cheetah, can you grab this one? No, you can't. Wow, Sheeta, when I give you a chance, you fail. I tried. I tried giving Sheeta a chance. But it was only one damage. Like, yeah, she is level four, but... I think we could just have you start moving down. Sirius is not going to be needed up here. Let's just do that. needs to move one square up, and we're going to use up the silver. Seriously, so head down. We may give him, like, a steel or something. So we'll go shopping. Uh, Katria... Katria's fine. She doesn't need to be stopped. There is the thief that starts showing up there. Uh, Rhodey's fine. You don't need to stock up on anything. Draw could stay here. I'm not using it for anything. Not much. My archers. Honestly, I might give my killer to Gordon, but that's about it. Aaron's just here with the extra lances. Uh, I think we're good. Sheeta, you were not useful whatsoever. I don't know why I brought you. Well, you helped to get some mage. Steal. Get out of here. Alright. We're done with all the main threats. Okay. I don't plan to actually use Sheeta, so I'm not gonna get stuff for her. Uh, Sirius can actually have, can actually help out, so. And I guess Catra is just gonna kill this thief. So there's no one else in there. I guess. Been a while. How's Lena? She's not here. Oh, use this hammer and staff. There we go. Super useful. Alright. Katria, you start heading this way. I need Agma to go here and shut me. We're gonna get you a. No, we're not gonna get you anything. 
Sorry, Agma. No swords available. No one's allowed to sell swords in this town. We'll probably buy another heal staff, though. But hey, there are plenty of lances for sale. And that's really important. None of them are silver, so we could just... I think Paolo will be okay. done with this chapter. I don't know what way it will be faster. Maybe Mark going... Honestly, I don't know how cutting through, how fast cutting through the mountains will be. Eh, we'll try it. We'll try cutting through the mountains, see if that helps. Okay. Wow, Katri is already capped on speed. Very good. Okay, what have we got in the shop? Uh, we'll buy a heal staff. But that's all I really need. Just a spare heal staff. Right now, I'm really trying to save them because you know, I have extra for later. I'll go ahead and go here. Discard your broken silver. Go. Alright. Oh no, more thieves. Yeah, go ahead and let Paula heal. Oh, did I mess up? Mountain 25. No, he can make it through, it's just I think he needs to be right next to it. Again, I'm not sure which route would be faster for Marth at this point. Serious, you go here. So, uh, we'll just get an, one iron and one steel. There we go. That'll work out fine. I don't think he needs the saloon lance. We need to go here. The trade. Okay. We're almost done with this chapter. Just need to get Marth to the castle, and that's about it. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. I think I'll just wait it out then. Honestly, at this point, even if I brought you Mina, would it have been worth it to use the rescue staff on Marth just to speed up these few turns? I don't know. I don't know if it would have been worth it. Just a thought. One mountain at a time, Marth. One mountain at a time. Catchy is getting some training. Level 15. We need anything else. There's no swords available. Uh, movement from the enemy. I know they're doing a lot right now. With no enemies there. Well, let's be fair here, Hawthorn Dog. 
There's these enemies right here. But we leave them alone. They're just like, hey, 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 if you don't want to attack me, I won't attack you. Okay, one more turn. If I'm correct, the next chapter is the castle one where we can recruit Samto. Is that right? I think that's right. It's the one where we recruit Santo. Let me check something. First of all, hidden treasure. Back. Chapter six. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we would need to beat so six, seven, eight, and then get the one in nine. We just went through five chapters today. And nine we don't even actually need to finish. debating whether to attempt chapter 6 today or to just call it let's see who can I take with me uh, yeah we'll keep serious I need Agma Tria, Caster, Paula, Lind. Is there anyone better? No, not really. Honestly, this team is fine. I could bench... Like... Could bench Ryan to bring Julian in. Sure. The question is... Let's see... I don't... I actually just don't need to go to this side of the map. Because I don't actually need to bother with this particular chapter. No, we don't need bots telling me to buy some bot viewers. We don't need that. You th okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point something out. Do you think there'd be a hidden item in here? Do you think there would be something in here? But no, there isn't. So where are these hidden items, Monzai? We already got two of them in Chapter 3. Uh, one of them was a door key, which wasn't that great. But we did get, in Chapter 3, the Io Shield. What that does, it uh, give it to a flyer, and all of their flying weaknesses are just now ignored. So now they're even better. How's it going, Monzai? So we already got two of the four achievements right now, Monzai. There's two more. Let me get through the, all this text right now. Well, what's going on, Monzai? How far did you get on the bow network? Okay, so while I have a second... Let me pull this up. So, let's scroll this down. As you can see, I have two left to go. We need to get to chapter seven, which we are on chapter six. And we have to get to chapter nine to get this silver axe. That's all I need to do. We are currently on chapter six. I'm gonna give it an attempt or two. We'll see how well we do. But other than that, I don't know. I think it might be best to just have my units head this way, and we're just gonna ignore everything. Okay, uh... Oh, right! Ogma should have the... Okay, hold on. 
let's go ahead and throw that in storage for now. We need the Armor Slayer. Trade. Let's give that to Ogma. That's super useful. Fish up the Eagle Tournament. Ooh. We got... Yeah, I saw you were doing the roll scenario. I saw that. And Flav? Oh, Flav was the cook. Right. Wait, so if Flav was the cook and that was the normal Navi, uh, what was the other Navi you got? Oh, you got Burn Man, okay. So you got a uh, you got to see Fireman again. I always found that interesting that even though Fireman was a uh, Red Sun, not exclusive, but the for the Soul in the Souls case, then yes, it is exclusive. But you get to see him in the Burn Man scenario, so in some way you still get to see him. I find that interesting, you know. We gotta have Mr. Match in every game, except for five. I still find it hilarious that he never made a cameo appearance in five. So if I'm correct, you're, uh, you're going to Netopia next, which means you're just doing that uh, little section where uh, Megman, uh, Lan gets kidnapped and get taken as a hostage and thrown into the hotel. You know, that small section. Man, every time Lan goes to Netopia, he, you know, something bad happens. He gets mugged a lot. I like how, like, every time he goes to a foreign country, he just gets mugged or something. You know, it's hilarious. Uh, I think I'll let some of the other units sit down this way. Uh, the Red Sun Tournament, then you can finally get to the Undernet, get Gun Soul 3 and the Nebula Code, and then you gotta do a bunch of cleanup before you move on to the, the second playthrough of the game. I know the route. I've played through that four times. Yeah, you need the Nebula Code because that's how you get, like, some blue mystery data. You have to get it. Yeah, luckily you made a checklist. If only someone, you know... It, it's so nice that someone gave you the idea to make a checklist, you know? It was such a genius idea. Oh, good. Ogma Dodge. I was worried about that. Okay, let's see. Uh... By the way, Monzai, did you ever get my message on Twitch? Because I sent you one, like, shortly after I left, or right as I was leaving. Ah, uh, yes, I like the idea you gave me to make my app. <laughs> nah, I don't care. No, I, I'm just glad it got, uh, something like that is getting made. That's all I really care about. So let's be honest, Battle Network 4 is in de desperate need of some sort of checklist. needs to get about here so that way he can talk to Santo. And that's one less enemy to actually deal with. 
There's going to be a lot of reinforcements to deal with as well. I don't want Julian to open the door just yet. Because I want Agma to be able to talk. Really speeding up this map, that's for sure, when you ignore like half of it. That's for sure. I'm so scared. They're so far away. Okay, Julian, open the door. Oh no, look at all those knights. Ogma, go ahead and talk to Santo. Oh, I'm sorry, Novar. Nah, never mind, it's Santa. Alright. So, I can have... Marth? Start getting close to those knights. And lure them over. As well as Agma, and he has the armor slayer. We can have those two, like, just kind of lure knights over when needed. Santa can go ahead and trade over basically everything. Kinda need everyone to like funnel back here, and we're gonna have Drog just bottleneck them. I'm sure I'm gonna want wind. You're gonna wanna try to get SP as powerful as you can. Ah, so you're gonna try to go for uh breaking records, huh? That's something I didn't do. I didn't care. As long as I got the chip, I'm good. But, yeah, you could do that. But the thing is, uh, you're probably going to want to wait till the third playthrough anyway. That way you can get the level 3 chips. Not necessary on screen? Ah, okay. I would... What I would suggest is maybe show the first time you fight the boss and get those chips on screen, and if you decide you want to power them up, you do that off screen. That way you show, like, you actually getting the chip uh, on screen for the viewers to see that you didn't cheat somehow. That's kind of what I would do. Save some of the grinding if if it's uh, not needed to be shown. Yeah. Okay, Marth. I think you can lure one over. You have the yes. Uh, well, let's get you close. Lind, over here. The chips you're waiting for are the element chips. Uh, well, you could get Burn Man going. That's for sure. Oh wait, is are you talking about a different type of chip? What element chips are you talking about? I might be getting confused. Oh, the lamp ones. Okay. Uh, what can you do with those? I've never actually utilized those chips. So I don't know what combos you can do with them. Okay, Marth. 
Yeah, get your crit and dodge. Alright, the mage. I forgot about the mage. Very much powered up. If you stand on the right hand kind of panels when you use it. Uh, can you give me an example of like what the power boost would be? And I know there's like uh, there's like five different lamps you can use. What is it? There's like grass, uh, the grass, lava, sand, ice, and poison, if I remember correctly. Poison wins the evil chip. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, they have to turn... For some reason, they turn some of the existing chips into evil chips. For, honestly, no reason at all. Actually, it's just to get you to turn to the dark side, honestly. Give you a reason to actually use dark chips and become evil. So that's why they turned uh, Muramasa into a dark chip. Give you a reason to actually be evil. There we go. Wait, what did I get? Check in a second. Uh, could make getting records pretty easy combined with Voodoo. What does Voodoo do? I didn't. I never messed around with that. Also, ever since Battle Network Three, Bodyguard, Bodyguard got a huge nerf. It's now not as broken, sadly. This Bodyguard was one of the best ships, basically. If you're playing Battle Network uh, 2 or 3, and you're, and you're just like, okay, how do we get to, uh, how do we get bodyguards first, you know, that's kind of the strategy. Drog is going to have to be a champ and just guard. Which he should be able to do. There's no mages. And he has the defense to take. Honestly, this might be the better route when trying to handle this map. And if you wanted to get everything, just like, have Drog get just guard this section, and then just have the other units go out to the other side of the door. Eventually. Like, bring Julian and, like, everyone down this way. You get down to 1 HP. You get Voodoo and Mur Muramasa used turn first turn, you'd be able to do nearly 2,000 damage within a few seconds if it wasn't evil. So I obviously know what Muramasa does, but what does Voodoo actually do?
Relays the first bit of damage it takes to the enemy. So we can use Muramasa and hit Voodoo, and then it gets transferred to the enemy. Is that right? Takes 999 damage, okay. saying you have two voodoos and then hit them both with the long Muramasa longsword. Uh, I think I see the strategy now. Yeah, that's an easy 2,000 damage. That um, nearly kills most bosses. I'm going to stand here and be a good idea for you to go back and heal. Go ahead and let Gordon hmm. Oh, you still need to make sure to hit the enemy too. Okay, so it's still a single voodoo. Okay. I feel like I'm, like, understanding it. Uh, it's gonna take it a little bit before another archer shows up. There is the javelin. Fifteen attack. It's a dark hole, but it's not an evil chip. Huh. Yeah, there's only five of them. Yeah, you think Voodoo would be an evil chip. Or, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, are there chips that you can't use when you're evil Mega Man? Because there are five that you can use when you're evil Mega Man. But are there some chips that you can't use? Can you give me an example? Because I've never tried to actually go with evil Mega Man. I have never tried. Because I thought, why would I want to lose my max HP? Can't use basic Navi chips except for Laser Man and Shade Man. Really? Oh, but that's what the Dark Soul chips are, though. That's what the Dark Soul chips are for. You can't use Gun Soul. Okay. The only, is that the only Giga Chip you can't use? That's a 10. Oh, wow. Catria could probably actually tank better. Go Catria. You can't use full synchro. You lose access to your double souls. Wow. You actually you do lose a lot just to gain five evil chips. Augment can survive. Augment can survive. We'll do that. We'll have Marth go over here. 
so he can get healed. Lin stays close by. Oh, there are eight evil chips. Oh, there are five. There are five mega chips. Five evil mega chips. I didn't realize Catra could actually just tank better than Drog now. She has more HP and about the same defense. Hole and Dark Line. Well, isn't Dark Line one of the five evil chips you need? Because there's Muramasa, there's a lamp. I believe Dark Line's one of them. Static? Really? This was a few months ago. I don't remember everything. Black Barrier's Red Sun exclusive evil chip. Oh, okay. And was Blue... Was it that Blue Moon that holy that had Holy Dream? Catra, you need to back out. Drog is fine. Snow Marth. How much do I need? Strength we have two. Okay, we'll mend. I want full heal. Actually, now nah, we'll just heal. We'll be fine. Again, it still kind of seems like the trade off of being evil versus not being evil is like so drastic that why would you bother trying to be evil, Mega Man? is in range. Yes. You're not going to move. Bug Curse is the evil chip in Blue Moon. Okay. And it's also only in PvP, yeah. I have- I still have yet to play 4.5 Monzai. I feel like I probably should stream it at some point. But that one's very reliant on- or heavily reliant on an actual real-life, basically, calendar. And I don't know how I would fully handle it. Oh, really? <laughs> Morality aside, 4.5 evil chips can be used by anyone. That's hilarious. Marth, can you get rid of this guy right now? So we're talking 16. It won't be enough to kill. His attack is 22. Uh, so we're talking 12 damage. Draw... need it. Not yet. 17. 6. Uh, mm. You know what? Agma doesn't need the healing. Not yet. I'm gonna heal Drog. Again, yeah, 4.5 is just a game I need to play through. I, would, I assume you've actually played 4.5 before. Okay. 
get rid of these heals. Just let Drog sit here. How tedious is 4.5? Takes some getting used to. Because, from what I understand, with all the cool aspect of 4.5 is being able to use a lot of characters. But from what I understand, it can just be very tedious to actually get everything done because of how much repeating you have to do, as well as the schedule of the system. I mean, it, it is a game I need to play myself one of these days. I do think I'll probably try to stream it, I just don't really know when or how. How I would make that work due to the whole schedule system. But I guess I probably still end up playing Battle no, no Battleship Challenge. Uh, yep. That's a game I'll probably end up playing. Yeah, I know you could change the computer's clock to make it work, but I don't know. I don't like messing with that, especially when you're, you know, streaming. You know what I mean? It messes with everything. I just don't really like messing with that. Attack of 23, we double. 20. We can get close. This attack is 22. No. I've already taken some damage. Oh, really? What was it about? That one here is Hold on. So if I give Lind the full Mary, I should heal about 10 HP. I could get Lind right here. Use the Volinary. She's at full. She can survive? could survive an attack. She uses Zora. And then we have Marth or Ogma get the kill. Let's just play it safe. Heal Drog. Catria may help out better over here. Alright. Oh, Lane, I don't... I don't fall for your... Please forgive me! I don't fall for that. Ha! You missed. Oh, was that a crit? Might have been. Go, Lind. Uh, someone insisted that your claims about 4.5 being real time was impossible because the GBA couldn't connect to the internet, so it couldn't tell time. Pokemon did that on the Game Boy. Yeah. That was in, what, the internal battery. Yeah, I know. Like it has an internal battery. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald have it. That's how they keep time and how they can uh, keep track of berries and evolve uh, Eevee to Espeon and Umbreon. Just need a battery to keep a watch battery. That's it. That's weird. It's like no, you had to keep the game on for time to pass. No, it, if it has a battery, it doesn't. It doesn't need to happen. All right. Well, we seized the castle. I wasn't planning to beat chapter six, but here we do. Yeah. Keeping the game on just to, like, pass the time would be awful. And it would be bad for, like, your GBA actual, like, AA batteries. Think about it. Like, think of how long you would have to keep the game on. Just to, like, get to a specific day. And you have to use your AA batteries. Assuming you're not using an SP. You know, with the rechargeable batteries.
to speed through this text. Yeah, that would be horrible if it, if you had to keep the game on. Oh, even Gold and Silver has a real-time clock. The Game Boy Color. Like, there are many ways of debunking that. Like, that's a weird argument to have in the first place. But okay, so I think I'm gonna call it. It's been a few hours. Uh, I don't have enough, I definitely do not have enough time to do chapter seven, eight, and nine. So we're gonna call it here. Uh, next time we should actually just be able to get this done. So thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. We got two more achievements to go. One in Chapter 7, which we're about to do. And one in Chapter 9, which we got, we got to deal with some of the harder chapters, actually. I don't know how long tomorrow's stream will actually take. Because we only need to fully get through two chapters. And once we get the item in Chapter 9, we don't even need to beat the chapter. So, yeah, I don't know how long tomorrow's stream is actually going to take. But these are slightly harder chapters, so we'll see how well it goes. Anyway, uh, we should definitely get this one done tomorrow. Anyway, have a good day.